Hey everyone, Chris Denham here with Western Hunter Magazine. Uh, today I want to tell you a little bit about my optics setup uh, on coos deer hunts, and this is specifically about coos deer hunting. Um, actually, applies to mule deer and elk quite quite well too. But uh, but the one thing about coos deer hunting is you spend an inordinate amount of time sitting behind a pair of binoculars on the tripod. I mean, you're doing a lot of spending a lot of time staring at the same ridge line, looking it over and down, then starting over and looking it down, spinning around. So being comfortable, I think, is absolutely critical. If you're uncomfortable, if you're cold and you're wet, your 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 mind's not going to be in it. I mean, your heart won't be in it, your soul won't be in it. So the first thing that I think is critical is, is something comfortable to sit on. Um, I really this year really enjoyed using the BTR stool uh, that the outdoors themselves. It's super lightweight. It weighs probably about 10 ounces. It's so light you would literally never notice it in your pack. But it breaks down nice and small. Uh, fits in a pack easily. The other thing I like to carry uh, often is a, a pad, a Z-pad like this one from XPED. It's just super versatile. You'll see Nate using them all the time. He actually prefers this over the stools because of the versatility. If you're on uneven ground or on steep country, a lot of times you can't get the stool flat and it'll drive you nuts if you can't. So depending on the type of terrain you're hunting in, if it's going to be flat, you're going to be sitting on flat ground and love the stool. If you think it's going to be rocky and, and not very flat and difficult to put, get a stool down, the a Z pad is a great solution. Again, you want to keep yourself as warm and dry and comfortable as possible. Make sure you pack plenty of clothes. I mean, a down jacket doesn't weigh anything. Um, long underwear don't weigh doesn't weigh much. But those are just those little things that just make you more comfortable and relaxed when you're sitting there glassing for hours on end. Now to optics. Um, when I'm coos deer hunting, I don't pay a lot of attention to weight. Um, I'm day hunting for the most part. So if I have to carry 30, 35 pounds and hike up, you know, a thousand vertical feet, I'm gonna, I know once I get there, I'm going to be there for hours. So I got plenty of time to rest. Uh, so I don't, I don't worry about trying to shave ounces. So for that reason, I usually pack the 95 millimeter Swarovski setup. Um, the STX here, uh, and actually more importantly, is the new BTX from Swarovski. The combination of the 95 millimeter with the BTX and just being able to relax and let both your eyes start picking up motion, especially at long distance over a mile with the BTX, it, it's a game changer. It seriously is. The one thing I will say with the BTX, because of the angled eyepiece, the, the stool is super handy uh, with that because it just allows you a lot more freedom of movement than when you're sitting on the ground. So if you can use a BTX a lot, get yourself a stool and learn to adapt to it. Because of the BTX, I've actually kind of gotten away from using 15s. I know for years and years and years, I, I was a huge 15 fan, 15 power fan. But now with the new Swarovski 1042 NL Pures, the field of view on them are, is so phenomenal and the optical clarity is so good, I just don't feel like I'm missing anything. Um, so I'm using the 10s, got a big field of view, picking up motion. Then when I see something, I can immediately jump to my spotting scope setup. One of the things I've become a huge believer in this year literally in the last six or seven weeks, is the Outdoorsman's adjustable digiscoping adapter. There's literally two sizes that covers every spotting scope and every binocular in the market. And what I've loved about using this is being able to film a deer, and then once I've hit the stop and go back and look at the footage, I can zoom in and see just phenomenal detail. Uh, you know, with your, when you're running up 60, filming at 60 power, and then you zoom just a little bit, you're literally like 180 power without any of the distortion that you would get through 180 power scope. It allows you to see detail that you never, never could see through the spotting scope by itself. So I really, when it comes to trophy evaluation, I've really become a huge fan of the digi of digiscoping even more than I've ever been. So again, when I'm coos deer hunting, I'm not in weight saving mode. I'm really not worried about shaving ounces or even a couple of pounds. So I always pack the outdoorsman's tall tripod. The thing I like about it in coos deer country is when you're in those steep situations where one leg or two legs needs to be way down or maybe out flat, I still have plenty of elevation. I'm not having to squirm to try to get underneath the tripod. I can make the tripod fit me, uh, which is really critical because if you find yourself hunkering down and getting yourself into odd positions, you're going to get neck pain, neck strain, uh, head aches. So being able to always maintain proper head position and be comfortable is going to keep you glassing all day long. Uh, with the tall tripod, I mean, I've got plenty of room to stand up as well. Uh, and there's definitely times with brush lines and so on that standing up is, is the way to go. So 
I do like the outdoorsman's tall tripod, the new standard tripod, though with the center post extension, I think that covers me about 95% of the time. So I probably, by next year, I'm guessing I'm gonna switch to the outdoorsman's standard tripod. But again, I'm five foot seven, so I can get away with that. If you're six foot, uh, 5'11 or up, I would definitely recommend the tall tripod with the center post extension. So that's my optical system for coos deer hunting. If you've got any questions, feel free to, to hit us up on YouTube or Instagram. I'd be happy to answer them.